Hey everyone, how's it going, Pixel Team? We've actually got some absolutely amazing news for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, we're going to be getting a really big patch by the looks of it for the next update. Um, I'm assuming this is going to drop the DLC content with how big of a patch it is. So we got on World's Times today that says we have over 250 fixes in testing, which is absolutely insane. And all this is gold. Honestly, I'm not saying they did watch my stream, but like everything that we almost talk about on my stream with the problems with the game, is being talked about in this Myrtle Times, which is absolutely fantastic. And, you know, how they are changing things as well as what we've talked about a little bit. There's a, there's a few things they say and more. There's a few things, obviously, they haven't talked about here, which I would get into that I would like to see as well. Obviously, this is still a huge patch, and I'm all for it, honestly. It, it might be something that might actually revive the game. Like, just so much stuff that has been you know, decline in the decline and your guys' opinions for the game is probably getting fixed in this uh, test here. So uh, the first one is the grandpa cutscene is missing. So grandpa waiting cutscene has been replaced with a single banner notification. Thank God, because, uh, you know, this was terrible, especially playing Leatherface, you would overheat, but not just that, it was just, it slowed the game down for me, you know. You're waiting in the lobby for a long time, you've got a long-ass cutscene to play before you can even control your character, and then boom, another cutscene plays for someone feeding Grandpa, or Grandpa, you know, however way he gets awoken, it's it's super annoying. Um, and, you know, people's die during this cutscene, people are, you know, being able to exploit a little bit in the cutscene to grab extra tools and things it, it's just uh, it doesn't belong in the game and they got rid of it nobody liked it in the tech test i was actually surprised it got into the full launch of the game so i'm really glad that it has been taken out there so the next one is grandpa perks up uh grandpa perks on equipment match the matches is now fixed and testing as well this is actually happening to me last stream i think it was when i was playing cook um i had uh exterior alarms on and exterior alarms unequipped in the next game or wouldn't even equip i don't know it was doing some weird shit so i'm glad that's getting fixed as well okay so the next one is saboteur perk no now accurately affect the fuse box as well as the generator so it wasn't actually affecting the fuse box when you turned the fuse box on unfortunately uh this kind of led to saboteur just being a broken perk and something that you shouldn't really pick in a build but now they're actually fixing that so now it should be a viable pick for you if you are decide to do like a fuse box uh, build for your victim so the next one is family exploits valve this was where the family could instant shut off valve by um using their ability apparently i did this accidentally once i had no i still don't know how you do it properly um but yeah this is getting rid of that exploit should have been a priority honestly i think that should have been fixed a long time ago but at least it's getting fixed finally i'm gonna be happy about that uh, Johnny Trail goes cold. Fix and testing for a bug that made the footprints disappear for Johnny almost instantly. Um, that never happened for me, but I suppose it's a good fix. I do hope they're looking at Johnny a little bit as well, uh, the side of that, because, I don't know, he feels like a broken character still. Um, it's mainly about his hitbox, honestly. His hitbox just feels really busted compared to every other family member. I don't know what's going on with this guy. Um, five out of seven victims agree. If a full lobby has five out of seven victims ready... The match timer drops to 30 seconds. Um, I don't understand this. Why it says 5 out of 7 victims ready? I don't know. Maybe it's just 5 out of 7 people. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm not sure why they use the word victims there. Interesting. But uh, th finally, the match timer will drop to 30 seconds. To be honest, I still don't understand why the match timer is over a minute long. And anyways, I feel like if somebody leaves, it should just go back up to a minute. Or it should, you know... What I think what happens on Dead by Daylight is if it's a full lobby and somebody leaves, the timer won't start. But as soon as someone joins, it goes to a minute countdown, which I think that's how they should really do it on this game. But um, now majority of people who ready up, the match will stop start in 30 seconds. So you're not waiting two minutes plus for one person to ready up because it's absolutely bizarre. Uh, the next one is Trail of Blood. So the blood trails left behind by victims will now match the console version on PC as well. <laughs> yeah, I actually said about this on my streams a lot. I was saying, look at how crazy I can track the victims down on the blood. I bet you guys can't do that on PC. Yeah, I just I just found that it was hilarious. Like it felt like I because I had an advantage playing on PC. Uh, I'm playing on console over PC. Sorry, I just thought it was funny. Um, but it's good they're actually fixing that on PC now. Um, security pin lockdown. This one I'm actually really glad they're fixing. I didn't realize they were actually aware of this happening. Um, because this is something I've complained about a few times on my stream recently as well. Whereas the security pins perk would affect the normal lock as well as the cook's padlock. And it was super fucking annoying. So it's like you were basically lock picking cook's padlock twice on the door. It was just obnoxious, but I'm glad that's being fixed now. 
Uh, building up pressure. Turn off the valve will now repressurize the tank. This is fucking huge. And a few of us have suggested this as well on, on our streams here and in the chat. You know, turning off pressure valve so the tank will go back. So it will slowly regress down. So if they turn it off, I'm not sure how fast that's going to be, but if the family turns it off, the valve uh, dial will start going down. I'm not sure how fast. We'll have to wait and see that. Um, but I honestly, probably is one of the best changes they could have done because valve is just so easy to do as an escape, honestly. Uh, slaughterhouse renovations, again, absolutely huge one. You guys all know how bad this is. They're actually moving the valve upstairs now for better visibility, which is great. On it. Um, it still needs a lot of work, slaughterhouse, but... This was one of the big, biggest problems on the map, so I'm glad they're fixing that. Uh, the next one is Smokehouse Door is uh, closed for business on Gas Station now, so they're actually reworking that. Not saying they're closing it off entirely, it's just saying it's being reworked, so I'm not sure what they're going to do there. Um, I would like for them to just close it off entirely because it doesn't make sense. Okay, we got the generator over there. Uh, if, like, why, why are we bothering going for the generator? We might as well just go up the cheese door most of the time. And it's going to be interesting to see how they rework that, honestly. Uh, the cook ability tuning. So Crouch Welcome will now hide you from cook seek ability. So this is really good. I hope this means crouch sprinting as well. as Like, when you can move faster while you're crouching. Uh, if you hold down, like, the, the jog button or the sprint button, whatever you want to call it, the running button. While you're sprinting, so you, uh, while you're crouching, sorry, so you can move a lot faster. Hopefully that means you can avoid uh, cook a little bit there. Um, it should it should mean that it should mean that and that, I think that's probably is a good nerf for Cook because especially if you're the last victim it's a real pain in the ass to try and do anything because this guy can constantly spot you to the family uh, tie it off tourniquet perk is being fixed it will no longer completely remove bleed out effects see I, I really don't know about this perk a lot of people have talked about it in my chat I've never even used it myself I I I don't know what um is going on with that perk but I guess they're fixing it whatever was the problem with it um, auto crouch toggle. I'm glad this is being fixed as well. This has actually got me killed quite a lot. Um, you know, the game just auto crouching me while I'm being chased. It's super annoying. So I'm definitely going to be turning that off when they uh, add that into the game. I'm not sure why they're doing a testing out for it right now. But like, I'm not sure why that's in testing, but they should just add a toggle and just let us turn it on or off. You know, as simple as that, really. Like, I want to be able to just sprint and then crouch, but maybe they don't want it to be too easy to be like, if you can sprint and crouch and then like you may negate like not taking any damage because of the hit detection or something like i don't know maybe that's what they're testing out but hopefully they get that added in soon and uh, no cell versus chainsaw no cell will now accurately affect overhead chainsaw attacks from level face that's actually really good because we said this back in the first week or the first two weeks of the game being out um, a lot of people didn't believe us. I kept saying no cell is actually bugged, uh, especially against the level phases chainsaw. So, um, but apparently we were wrong. But here you go. There's a fix for it. <laughs> um, it's good that it's finally getting fixed. There's definitely way more perks that need fixing. But hopefully there's, with the and more part, that means that could be the fact that, you know, the perks like the grandpa sonar one and stuff, it's going to end up being looked at and actually working in the next update. And like I said, I could probably feel like this is going to drop with the next dlc i feel like this would be a really good thing to drop with the new uh, map and the new characters it really would uh and currently under investigation grappling tuning is being looked at perk rebalancing and party disbanding issues again all three very important things here grappling tuning i'm really happy they're looking at this because uh playing the victim you know when you're grappling someone you win the grapple but you can still get killed um, in the animation which is pretty stupid if you win the grapple you should have the little iframes there for the fam the family member who's come along to kill you who then has to wait for you to get out the animation to hit you i feel like that's how it should be done but we'll just wait and see how they're going to tune that uh, the perk rebalancing is also a good thing party disbanding issues very much a priority especially for you guys on playstation i know how much of a pain in the ass that is uh, on xbox it's not so much of an issue but on playstation it's a pretty bad issue uh, they need more info with issues with the achievements and unlockables, issues with perks and abilities. So any perk or anything like that, they need more info about, like I said, the Grandpa Sonar perk, uh, the aura is not being displayed when they should be, you know, all that stuff needs to be uh, given more information about for them. So yeah, that's it for the patch notes, everyone. Unfortunately, we don't have a release date yet. Like I said, hopefully it drops with the new DLC relatively soon. Hopefully by, you know, the end of this month or a little bit earlier. But it's crazy how much stuff they're actually going to be dropping in the game. Like, it's been needed so so long, all these fixes and all these concerns that's been going around the community. And it just felt like they didn't care. Like, 
lately, but um, hats off to them. They actually persevered and got um, a lot of stuff under their belt for one big patch, which I think is a lot better way to do these things rather than doing weekly patches that weren't really getting the game anywhere, if I'm being totally honest. And they, I feel like they were just pushing themselves um, for no gain, really. There was some quick fixes they needed to make in those uh, patches that they were doing uh, weekly, but, you know, they weren't particularly great. And these fixes that they're doing right now are way bigger, way more important. It's something we need to see in the game. But anyways, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the upcoming patch that we're going to be getting for the game. Like I said, I think it's pretty huge. What would you like to see uh, happen for the game as well? Hit that sub button for more Texas Chainsaw Massacre content. I do stream this game as well on this channel and as well as many other games, so you don't have to go anywhere else on my live streams. And I've been Pixel. Those are my awesome viewers. i catch you guys in the next one.